Oh! Oh, yes! Pretend he's Micah! Kill him! Wait, I'll throw you a knife. Let's stab him. Oh, wait, this is so cute. I love the music. I want to die. Besides, a mood. <laughs> Your girl doesn't talk about you the way that I talk about John to the streets. Oh my Ooh, god, it's hell. fat. Awesome. She thick. She thick, boy. Oh my god, what do I do? We found it. We found him. Hi everybody, it's your girl Tofu. Today we are back with some Red Dead Redemption 2, the epilogue, and we're also back with John, Jim, Milton, Marston. Daddy John, Milton, Marston, John, Jim, Martin, Milton. What was I going to say? I had things to share with you guys before we started today's episode, and now I've, I've already fucking forgotten them. Give me a moment, give me a moment. Oh yes, so. Um, the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about one, where one might buy uh, the replicas that I've been sharing in the last YouTube video and in um, our cosplay Instagram photos. And one may find these on Amazon. And they are replicas, YouTube. I'm not selling firearms. They're replicas! The second thing, um, I wanted to tell you guys my plan. <laughs> Plan. Um, that word is forever cursed for me. It is. Uh, it's a trigger. The plan is a trigger word for me. Just like, just like money is a trigger for me as well. What else? What else? What else? Doubt, faith, all trigger words. Just, just hearing one of those, saying one of those, just puts me in a downward spiral. Anyway, I have a plan um, for today's episode based on what you guys have told me and what I discussed with the mods. I'm just going to play for a little bit today. And then when I feel like we're at like a decent stopping point, um, I will I will take I will go explore. I will go venture out forth into the Red Dead Redemption 2 world, and I will go to some of the places that you guys have been telling me to go to. I have a list of places I'm supposed to try and find, which is going to be a fucking nightmare for us because I'm literally so bad at finding anything ever. But <laughs> we're going to try and find those places. There's like a general store, railroad stations. We'll do that kind of near the end of the episode to kind of wrap things up. I don't really want to do it to like start off the episode because I'm worried that like all the writing and stuff I will like not get bored necessarily, but like I'm bad at finding places. I'm not very good at it. I don't really like it that much. So I'm trying to say that towards the end of the episode so we don't get like too fatigued or tired. That sounds stupid, but that's just what happens whenever I have to ride along or do nothing in a game for a while. I, I just my attention span suffers. <laughs> what else? I would like to welcome the Expedition Odyssey to the Beancurd Army patron family. I've been kind of overwhelmed with the amount of support lately and I just want to say thank you. It really does mean a lot to me and it allows me to continue making this content. Um, each video takes me like, I would say 8 to 12 hours-ish per episode by the time I record because I usually sit down to record for like three to four hours and then I edit it down to like a two and a half hour episode and the editing process is just I'm making my life more and more difficult because the editing I feel like gets better and better but I just spend more and more time on it so I'm definitely proud of how each episode uh, turns out and it really seems like you guys are liking the content and for that I'm it makes me so happy it's such a compliment um, but yeah it does take me a while to do these so I appreciate your guys patience on the episodes and all of the support that you've been giving me so I can continue making them Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get into the episode. New journal entry, eh? Um, maybe we could start from the beginning. Let's go to the very beginning and catch up on this journal. Let's see what's happening here. Hide bank debt? Why is that an option? Wait, that's so weird. Okay, that's... Why? All right. Oh, I'm stupid. This is Arthur's handwriting and Arthur's journal. For some reason, I thought John had his like own journal. I miss Arthur so much. You know, it's been such a long time since I flipped through the beginning of this. I don't know why. It takes me back. I wonder if John draws at all. I'm definitely wondering that. We'll find out. So John definitely has different handwriting, but it's just as pretty. It's pretty in a different way. He does like little lines. That's so cute. I don't know why. That's adorable though. Pronghorn Ranch. Being back in this country made me dig up Arthur's old journal again. Odd few years wandering, now back here, this country that we ran to and things went crazy all those years ago. My mind is full of ghosts. It's been a tough few years. Jack don't like me. And Abigail can't stand me. Or is it the reverse? Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mm. Killed a fellow because he looked at me funny. Abigail wants me to settle down. To what? 
Everything I've tried has gone wrong for so long now, and now I'm back in old country. Well, I guess the north didn't turn out so good. I uh, wonder if there's anything in these treasure maps. Ah, uh, we should probably... We should probably... That's such a vague map, though! Like, how can... How can I, I'm so bad with, like, regular fucking directions. How am I supposed to figure out anything from this... This... This line? And this X? This means nothing to me. I, I don't, I can't, I, that, that's not going to help me at all. <laughs> so now I'm a farmhand until I lose my temper again, I guess, working at a place called Pronghorn Ranch. They seem to like me because I'm big and nasty and they surely ain't, and some local tough guys seem to know they ain't. Well, I guess Abigail can't have everything, but she won't be able to deny I've at least got a normal job. I'm not much of a rancher, but I can still give a big mouth a good smack. <laughs> Abigail still seems to despise me. Jack ain't sure, but I reckon he ain't none to too keen. I feel so bad. He feels like no one likes him. That makes my heart hurt. Oh. Oh, she went and left me, gave me enough warning, I suppose. She weren't wrong. I'd leave me if I could. What now? No son, no woman, and a no-good rancher on a no-good ranch. These rich bastards. The Laramies want old Gettys dead. If I had a brain, I'd go work for them. But I kind of like Gettys. Look, he did do a little drawing. It's his heartbreaking. <laughs> Oh, if anything happens to John ever, I, I guess I'll just lay down on some train tracks then. Nothing should happen to this boy. He is so, so beautiful. His soul is beautiful. I love him with all my heart. You know, I, John has grown on me and it took a long time for me to really like John. But definitely in the last episode and just by reading this journal, oh, oh, like, Arthur's up here, and John is just quickly inching his way up there. Just towards Arthur, you know, he's quickly, he's making some moves. Saw Sadie Adler again. Guess I thought she'd been dead. Maybe it's just me that's been dead. I don't know. It was good to see her. She's a bounty hunter and suited to the work. Saw her put a knife clean through the hand of some big old boy she was fighting with. Ain't seen her since she and Arthur saved Abigail and then Arthur saved my life. We headed north and she turned to this line of work. Okay, look at his little drawing. Look how fucking cute that is. He drew a hand with her knife in it. I don't know why, but that is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. That's so fucking cute. Is this a... Uh, oh, this is Beecher's Hope. He drew his little... He drew the little plot of land. The trash... Trash garbage land that we bought for some reason. Good news. I now own a ranch. Bad news. I now have uncle with me. Or is it the reverse? If he don't shut his mouth, I'll paint this place with his blood. <laughs> I bought a dumpy bit of land for Abigail and she ain't here. Instead, I got uncle. Yeah, uncle will really keep your bed warm at night. Huh. How the hell did this happen? I got the worst. I got the worst of all things. I miss Abigail. I've been a proper fool for longer than I can remember for always. <gasps> John! Oh! <laughs> I love him! Whoever wrote this journal is a fucking genius. I, I'm in love with John, like, officially. It took, like, two journal readings, and I'm like... Daddy John might be on our list of daddies permanently. His little drawings are so cute. Like, obviously, Arthur was more artistic and more, like, artistically inclined. A little more talented, perhaps. But John's fucking adorable. Look at that horse! It's so, like, stubby. It's so cute. <coughs> All right, I think we're caught up on the journal. Um, that only took me like 500 years to read. Oh, oh, I would like if if I would like to go into town at some point. Did Uncle just spawn into? The that was whack. I would like to go into town at some point and get a haircut. We're looking a little, a little rugged. And you know what? I don't mind it, but I know you guys do because I got a shit ton of comments that were complaining about the state of John Jim Marston Milton's facial hair. So. I will fix that as soon as I can. But for right now, let's do let's do something with Uncle. Looks like he's just snoozing up a storm over Working here. Working hard. <laughs> it's the lumbago. <laughs> I have I overdo it. I, I'll get a relapse. Oh. It's very serious. Oh, get I'm up sure. Or get out. You can be so testy. <laughs> what is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof. I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Stop Bible. Stop rubbing it in that she Get left. Out. Oh my god, that was a harsh kick. I'm getting, uh, we have a pointy-ish boot. I, have to tell you? I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh shit. Well, we gotta go. 
Go where? We gotta go to Saint Denis. Oh. Charles. Okay. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles, Charles Smith. Do we get to see Charles? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. He better be fucking alive. I better not find him dead in an alleyway or something. Or just slumped over. You know, I he better be in tip-top condition. He better be in tip-top shape. If I see so much as like one little paper cut on him, I'm gonna throw these hands. You're gonna catch these hands. Something like that. One of those. It's gonna happen. Oh, you know, maybe we should get a haircut while we're here. In ah, San Denis. Here we are. The barber. Come on, let's get off. All right. Some of y'all been giving me Back shit for the state of I never like this his place. hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. Yeah. It's because so many good things All happened right. here, huh? Yeah. 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 So That's why answered. we hate it here. Sure. That's why we don't like it. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slum. Yeah, uh, how about I take the saloons <laughs> and you take the slums? Yeah, we don't want him to get stuck drinking, although, inevitably, that's probably what's going to happen anyway. You know what, y'all? I actually really- Oh! Oh! You know, I, I need to go slower. I'm sorry, I- I'm slowing down- God fucking Jesus damn Christ, lady! I'm slowing down, I'm sorry. Forgive me for being too eager. Anyway, I love playing as John. I think it's great. Don't get me wrong, I miss Arthur with every fiber of my being, but damn. I am 100% enjoying myself. Where do I fucking find this place? I'm gonna park right here and then try to go. Here? Here, here, here. Wait, we've been in here before. How can I help you today, sir? Is this the same shopkeeper as last time? We were in here with uh, Arthur. Indian? Yeah, a boxer. We need to check the basement. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnine. Thank Saint Saturnine. You. Thanks a lot. No problem. Well, thank you. Was it here? Is this how we got in? I'm pretty sure there were like two people I in the basement last time. Way. Okay, give me a fucking second. I'm trying to figure out if you're still a human trafficker or not, sir. But we were in here with Arthur. We had to rescue people and then we had to deliver them to Father What's-His-Face. They were down here. They spoke Spanish. Enjoy the fight. Did we have to move the bookcase? Bro, I don't even remember. And I literally just watched chapter- it was a part 10 of our playthrough. I just had to rewatch that for reasons I will not specify. I think they might be starting soon. Okay, give me a second. God damn. Uh, for reasons I will not specify, because it's a surprise for you guys. How do I fucking get to fucking Saturnine? Lost already, mate. I'm not quite sure why I don't remember how we ended up rescuing those two Spanish-speaking fellas in the basement. But I'm pretty sure we had to move that bookcase or something. What took you so long? Oh, hey. Oh, good lord. I was just <laughs> beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. You do be liking our peace and quiet. That's that first barman I met. And he told me Charles was here. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't stay in the bar. Great <laughs> mysteries, <laughs> turns out. But they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. Who's... Wait, is this Charles right here? We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. Did he say he was a killer? Do you kill people? You well, I mean... Know the half of we've all killed people John? in the Red Dead Redemption you're, 2 gang, but... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Yeah, just... he's definitely covered in multiple cuts that are not from paper. And I am... I am bitter. I am bitter about it. I don't know. I, I want to keep him safe. I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. That makes me so sad. You, you like that? No. <laughs> Who would like so, that? So, let me go place a bet. Come on. Don't say it's on me. Man, Don't place a bet on me. I Is he gonna? Dead. Is he sure. Place a bet on me? Abigail's still alive too. Only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself to win. I thought he was gonna like Lone try wolf. to put me in the How fighting much? ring or something. All of this. Okay. Funny thing. I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? Oh, no. A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Yes, I will bet on my friend. Real redskin brain. I will bet on my friend. Yes, bet on Charles, even if he doesn't sure, win. I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. 
Have I got a treat? Even if he doesn't win, we have to support our friend. Battle. We have to support him. Between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Injun Hercules. Injun? The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. Come on, you Charles. Come on, Charles. You got no this. You fucking got this. No forfeiting. No crying like a beaten child. Oh, no crying? Oh, I'd lose this fight so quick. So quick. You win by knockout. You win by retirement. Or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean. But not so clean. <laughs> but not so clean. Uh, focus on Charles by holding L2 to cheer. Oh, cheer! Cheer! We're gonna cheer the fuck out of you, Charles. You better fucking win, bitch. Win! You got this. You got this. Come on. Come on, Charles! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Oh! Oh, yes! Pretend he's Micah! Fucking kill him! Wait, I'll throw you a knife! Let's stab him! Let, let, let's tear out his guts! Tear out his guts! Tear out his intestines! I suppose this will do. I suppose this will do. I'll take it. <laughs> Like covered in blood and like cuts and bruises. Oh my money! Give me my money! Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. So we should make a quick escape then. Let's get out of here. So you keen on staying around here? Heading off with me and uncle. Head off with me and uncle. John, I haven't seen you two in years. Then catch up with us. Right now. It's a perfect opportunity to catch up with us. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside San Denis. No, you no. don't. Oh, no, you don't. Come on. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. And Come useless. On. Pretty sure they're not, uh, what's it called? Mutually exclusive. You can be useless and a deep thinker. My bag's on the dock side. All right, we'll go get it so, then. What happened? You mean what back mean? then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Oh. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If you any of us had been found, we'd have... No, oh, of course. I understand. Was where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside facing the evening sun. He gave me a I'm gonna fucking cry. In it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. <laughs> he was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. Wasn't it Charles? That makes sense. Wasn't it? I'm pretty sure we were writing with Charles and he said something to Arthur about like, well, this is kind of like an opportunity then, isn't it? Like, not everyone gets this chance that you've gotten in a way, right? Didn't he say something like that? Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Really? Or I might have come looking. Well, that's okay, And buddy. me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. Hopefully he's just dead. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. That's good. I, ain't heard I don't want him near us. Since... I don't want him near us or anything. Well, that time. Nor me. Micah. Sadie I hope said that she heard. Dead. Yeah, me too. You me know, fucking too. Speaking of them agents. He was the rat. What? Putting him on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. Pretty sure Sadie mentioned something about Micah being alive, though. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Uh, Micah? None of us is I innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. I, I don't I feel think we would have had to depressed. make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for. Okay. Uh. Wait, no! Don't cut off the dialogue! No. <laughs> I tried to go back! Those are Guido Martelli's no. men. Who? Guido. He 
Guido. Uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. Oh no! Been here an hour. Hey. And Angelo Bronte was not a fan of us. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left. I go right. On three. Click, on click. Three. <laughs> oh, we're gonna shoot some bitches today, y'all. Oh! Oh fuck! No! I missed it! Oh my god! Wait, there's another one? There's definitely another one. Oh. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, I have to go around. Okay. Thank God, because I'm not very good at driving in a stressful okay. situation. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge, going out of town. Oh, West. There's, there's bad. Hold there's on. baddies. There's baddies. Should I shoot them? I can't even see them. You see They're on my mini map. Not yet. Keep your eye oh. out. Oh, Santa Ne ain't short sure on police. I I remember that. Right there. Only too well. We might be able Anyone? to escape. Good so far. Further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have. So I shouldn't shoot anyone? Well, deny it at least. <laughs> deny no, it at least. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. I will not shoot anything? anyone else then. Yeah, I think we made think it out of there alive. Yes, if yes. If I ever want to go back, remind me. That I hate Saint Denis. <laughs> Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. Oh. <laughs> hey, Uncle. You boys been off getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. <laughs> Come on, let's head for home. His uncle always is funny. <laughs> he, he's actually so much so much funnier in the epilogue than I ever remembered him being in chapters one through six. What do I call like I, I wanna stop saying like chapters one through six. What do I say when I just want to refer to like the main game? Do I just say the main game? Cause now we're like in an epilogue? Like I wanna stop saying chapters one through six. That just seems too long winded. Split and wid. Wood, wood, wood. I can't talk today. Oh, we've got something we can do with Sadie. Oh, I, there's still something with Hamish. That's still a thing that I want to do to be done. Oh, it's like we have the gang back together again. Oh, look at uh, us. Feels like old times. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Oh, there he goes. My God. What I tell you, Charles? Boy, is as sour as weak old milk. I've been no left. Wonder she didn't stay with oh you. my god, stop bringing it up, Uncle. A whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Stop. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. Stop shading me. All he me. does is whine, whine, whine. All, and all he does is give us a hard time. I need Uncle to chill out a little bit. I need Uncle to step it back a moment. Oh my oh, goodness, don't stop. Get all angry. It ain't going to change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. <laughs> Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. I called it a porta potty it's too. A it's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Damn, Damn Uncle. A lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No it needs woman to be crushed and rebuilt. Now, I reckon these horses can have it oh, down in a minute. We actually Here, destroy come on. It? Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. <laughs> Seems like a great way to get a splinter in my eye <laughs> and go blind. <laughs> Abigail would love that. <laughs> See? I 
told you, it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? It's heavy. Like, how do I, how do I take the that town, stuff? Buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. How do we do that? Where in town? Which town? There's a fellow by the train store. Cakes, hardwood, and timber. Cakes, hardwood, okay. and timber. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need what? a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <laughs> oh my god. God, I fucking love the epilogue. The epilogue is the best thing to ever happen to me. Come on, then. Oh my god. Whip him if you have to. Yeah, so how are we gonna get all this stuff out of here? Like, that's heavy. They don't have, like, large machinery. Like, how do we transport all those materials out of here? How are we gonna manage that? I've already forgotten where I'm supposed to get those supplies. Where I'm supposed to get a new house out of a magazine. How am I supposed to do that if I don't remember where to go? Is it in here? Please tell me it's in here. Y'all, I already forgot where he said I can buy it. Fuck me. You know what, let's just, let's just go to Sadie. And maybe Sadie will know something. Sadie always knows what's to do, what's to do, what to do. Usually her way of solving problems and finding solutions involves stabbing someone or shooting someone clean through the head. But you know what? At least she'll have a plan and I don't have any plan for finding out where to find the person to buy a house. I have no working memory. It's, it's a tragedy. Oh, guys. Thor is on my foot. He's sleeping on my foot and he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I'm not on the road. You know, Blackwater's kind of a cute town. Look, it's kind of charming. It's kind of quaint. It's kind of adorable. All right, let's go say hi to Sadie. Come on in. New faces always welcome here. There she is. She's sitting down, having herself a nice little lunch. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John! <laughs> Come sit down. She looks so sure. great. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. <laughs> Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. <laughs> I love um, her so which much. Which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. Oh, my but. Same as most people. Is she getting a cinnamon roll? I guess. Mm. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? No. Can't say that I have. Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's one in goodness. five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed. You I got robbed? a professional robbed? rival of mine. Oh? James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot but now that you're here maybe we can go rob him back i like that idea let's do it is the money good yeah it's real good plus i don't much like getting robbed by no one understandable come on she's so badass we're heading again you say mm. south now come on mount up we got a ride ahead of us all right all of right of course we do all right. You know what? She she doesn't know where to buy a house. I almost went to the wrong horse. Go me. She doesn't know where to buy a house, but we'll still do something fun oh, with Sadie. Mate. Let's ride. Sadie. Yes, ma'am. Can we take you back to 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 Beecher's Hope so we could get like everyone from the gang back together? We could get the entire gang back together. Some folk buy ranches. Some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. Oh my, she says that with such pride, with such motherly pride. He oh, is man. mean. <laughs> it's something else, you know. You gotta come up. Yes, there. come, hey, come up. Trouble? Not yet. Squatters, but that's it. I paid him off. Part. That's no good. killing necessary. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own traps. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. 
You're not wrong. Got up there with me, Uncle. <laughs> Besides, Uncle. Abigail? No. Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You er wanna talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah, a yeah. little bit beaten up, He's but. Doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. And he was winning too. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. No, send him your best I yourself. Will. Just come along. You know you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. Yes. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I <sighs> Okay. I ain't so good with people. Fine, see. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want. Hope she comes to That's visit time. at least. Unlikely to be taken up. <laughs> she just runs into the man. You heard anything of Dutch? Oh. Nothing. You? No. No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Yeah. One would get out. It's one word That's for his one character. Way of it. Look, what happened with the gang? Changed everyone who was a part of it. Or the Dutch who put a black everyone who was me left of it. Driscolls, <gasps> they weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You yeah. see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. Mm. We were fools to follow him. Yes. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. Yeah. I blame me for- Well, so, okay. I know that we did, like, a full-end character analysis of Dutch back in, like, the chapter around Tahiti. For those of you who haven't seen that, I'll, I mean, I'll link it down below, but, like, for those of you who haven't seen that, basically, I, I tried to make a case that he has narciss narcissistic personality disorder that was already somewhat prevalent in him, but, um, the trolley incident where he like got a concussion or some sort of head injury or a traumatic head injury i believe that that exacerbated any of the symptoms or a lot of the behaviors that he was already like struggling with or has like a um, predisposition towards so i think the head injury really set things off and then if it was indeed a brain injury i feel as though that made him even more vulnerable to trusting micah over you know arthur anyway i just wanted to remind you of some of my thoughts on that Let's get back into it. <laughs> Following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. Same. He's out there. No, I, I you know, I blame Dutch Someday, too. I hope we'll find him. Equally, actually. But uh, not now. Come on. I hope we never find him, actually. Like, I I have no need. I have no desire to see him. Stylish as he may be. Actually, okay, some like morbid curiosity, perhaps. But I don't really want to, like, run into him on my way to, like, a store or anything. There's a spot up ahead where we can see over most of the country. They'll be down there. All right. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the given back part is optimistic. What happens if he I'm refuses? The optimist. <laughs> Are we just gonna like shoot the James guy? <laughs> you know, I'm I've down. Been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. And she's just silent. She has like no response to that. All right, Sadie. All right. The sun right there. This is so cool. It just looks really this pretty. This is the place. It's a view, all right. It's definitely a view. Oh, that looks so cool. Come on. Let's go take a look down in the valley. I walk through the valley in the shadow of death. I ain't sharing mine. Well, I got mine out. Anything? Oh my god. Not yet. Keep looking between here and that town. They'll be there. I need to. That I have having issues. I'm having issues. There we I go. I think I see something. 
you up. There they are. Oh, Come I see him. I see him. Who's who? Well, the mount is the fella who's all tied up. I don't see a guy who's tied up. Very funny. And that big fat fella with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. So do we kill all of them? Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. All right. Let's go. You're a good fella. Do it. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Oh. Let's go. Hell yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I'm in danger of gonna- I'm gonna fall off this cliff. I feel like that's gonna happen. <laughs> I feel like that's written in our future. It's only a matter of time before I injure here. myself. Or injure Sadie. I almost pushed her off the, the cliff right there. This gives me Grand Canyon vibes. On a miniature scale. This just looks like fucking Arizona. <laughs> God. Oh, oh, there they are. what do we do? We follow and keep an eye on. Oh, we don't kill them? Are you sure? There's only a few of them. We oh. could take him. We could take him. We could do it. This is awkward. Something about this just is awkward. I think it's just me making it awkward, but you know what? Let's not talk about that. You won't get north through here. What are you doing, huh? Are you are you talking to me or like to Sorry. I ain't used to having anyone with <laughs> Oh, me. she was talking to herself. That's so cute. I was a little confused. Wait, which way should I go? Oh god. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. Alright. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. She's such goals. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Alright. I'll just try not to fall and crash to our death in the meantime. I kind of want to just fall off to see what would happen. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to do here. it. Up get off your horse. This might be our chance. Let me make sure I have a gun. Yeah, this stopping. looks cool. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. I can Langton's shoot him. doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. Oh, Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at him or sneak down and pick him off one by one. I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Oh no. I kind of want to shoot them. Let's just start shooting. Maybe they'll all run off. Yeah, they'll scatter right away. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're not dying. They're not dying the way I thought they would. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are there any more? There's men up here. They're coming from our ride. Oh, shit. Let's go. My god. I'll hunt them down. I'll hunt them down. I can't find them. Oh, but did they find me? I don't know where they- Oh, oh, oh! I know where they are now. Oh, one's like behind me. No! Jesus! Oh my god! My goodness, oh my goodness! There's more? How many are there? Jesus. Come on, crouch down! God damn it! Oh, I see him. Did he fall? Is he dead? I think he's dead. Oh, come here. Alrighty, alrighty. Oh, so nice. So lovely. Wait, no, I totally missed my shot. Okay, where are you? Where are you? No! Fuck me! There we go. Another one dead. Oh, I see some people up here. It's fine. Oh my god, where are they? I'm gonna die! Because of this motherfucker. Is it 
dead? I think he's dead. Let me, let me, let me, let me eat something. Oh fuck, I missed my shot. There we go. No! No? Are you serious? Okay. Alright then. What are you doing, John? I I literally pressed the trigger there and he was being ridiculous. Let's get to the bottom of this. Alright, let's do it. Where'd she go? She went down here? She went this way? Oh, great. Fantastic. I can't find any. Oh! Oh, they're in front of me! That's why! Fuck! Bro! They're everywhere and I'm in a bush! No! Oh wait, that's a horse. I feel bad. Shit, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to hurt the horse. I thought that was a person. I'm gonna just loot you real quick. Anything you want me to hold on to? <laughs> oh wait, let me loot this person too. Come on, it's time to collect. Sorry, give me a moment. Okay, you're taking Let's go. Let me pick him up. Mm, all right, let me stow him real quick. Are you with her? What's it look Maybe. like? Maybe. <laughs> Get him up there. Come on. I mean, no, not at all. I'm just trying to sabotage her. What is going on with the dialogue? Oh, there's people. Oh, there's people in front of us. My god, oh my god, what if I just run away? Oh my god, oh my god, there's so many! I don't even know what to do. Let's just ignore it. Let's just ignore it. Oh, there's too many. Oh my god. Did I just go through them? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm literally so bad at this. What are you doing? Is my horse injured? Okay. All right. I'll try. Easy. That's chaotic. I'm so bad at this. That was just a lot happening at once. Oh, it's so pretty. Desert sunsets are rather pretty, even if the rest of the desert isn't that pretty. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of beauty in Arizona. I know, I know. I give it a lot of shit. There's a lot of beauty in Arizona. I just ignore it because it's not very obvious you know you know you feel I need to relieve myself just go in your pants this this a in your cell. Oh. i'm serious oh yep. and wait what so if his kidney explodes him, or something John, please. hey you don't need to do that just because she told you to i don't need to be hit i just want to be treated civil shut it Maybe I won't hit him. I will do it if he if he tries anything though. But for now, I won't hit him. But you know what? Out of interest, I kind of want to hit him now. How did work ain't easy, John? I lost the opportunity. No, I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine, <laughs> and with LinkedIn and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie. You know I'm a rancher now. I wouldn't mind working with Sadie Mostly. long term, though. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. How are I we paying for a ranch? But it would be good to have you along some more. Wait, yeah, we'll see. how are we paying for a ranch? Was it just stolen money? I, I, I don't know. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a horse. Yeah. I almost ran into that. Whoopsies, my bad. Come on. The Look at the moon. Here. Almost there, Finley. So pretty. Light. Oh, that's just lovely. Oh, that's so nice. Here we are. All right, then. Grab him and bring him in, John. Alrighty. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. Now I'll hit him if I have an opportunity. He's being kind of rude. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh no, I didn't mean to Great. put him here. Let's uh, Fuck. put him in the cell. I didn't mean to drop him. I just wanted to hop. Up onto this little ledge. I should have taken the stairs, I guess. I should push. 
Bastard! Oh my goodness, calm down. I There's no hope for you. This. <laughs> I object to this. <laughs> That's a pity. That's a shame. I hate you. Uh, I know, I know. Let's just put you right in here, mate. You'll be just fine. Just put him on the bed. <laughs> We're gonna watch you swing. Oh. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. She just says okay. it outright like that. Here. You know, I like this chief. There's I like this chief guy. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he gets a crack out of her. You My God, what a woman. Too. No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay. Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. Well, I'm do. retired. No? Sure. <laughs> be well, John. Oh, We should do more work with her. I think it would be so great if we worked with her long term. I think that would be, I think that would be great for us. Although Abigail wouldn't really Good. like that, would she? You know what? I kind of shipped Sadie and uh, Arthur together, but I could see, I could see a Sadie and John type of situation. I could see that. Seriously, how do I buy a house though? How do I go about doing that? Is it this? Cakes? Is that the store? Wasn't it, was it cakes something, the store? Maybe not. Am I hallucinating it? Probably. But I have hope. I think this is where I can buy, I think this is where I can buy a house. Yes, 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 yes. I think this is where I can buy a house. Get off the horse, get off the horse. I'm so excited, let's pick out a house. Oh, wait, that was aggressive. Wait, how do I get in? How do I get in here? Oh, the open door gate. Yes, that is a promising start, isn't it? Yes. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. Ha <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some Dumb old coot, I know. Yeah. Tell me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut? <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient really? and cost efficient. I thought, I thought Uncle was joking when he said Which you could get them pre-made. Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. <laughs> Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? Yes. I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Uh -huh. Wait, yes, I don't get to choose? that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. Wait, what, what's happening now? What are you doing here? Oh, oh. Everything okay? It's just a really quick change. I'm not sure. Change. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If their skin is about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skin is going to be nasty. Come on. Okay. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. What if these guys Sir? are skinners in disguise, though? You. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fellow up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good. Because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. All right. I know the quickest way. Follow me. I'll try not to crash into anything. Oh, look at the clouds. They're so pretty, too. Oh, it's so nice. I guess that means we've gone... We've been out all night long, then, huh? Oh god, turn radius is on this thing. Oh, I'm gonna be bad. Say, it's only a matter of time. A or a red it's only a matter of time till I bump into something. I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. 
I saw you get skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Not yet. Oh yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. He's a really practical you person. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Is this Wayne guy going to be the first one to die if we get uh jumped? Not much, I guess. I feel like that would be funny. No. Well, no do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. You know a thing or two cuz we've Barabba seen a thing or two. Strong men sitting up front. Two of them guns for high. Then they're going to wait for the next set of fools to come. I feel like through. Wayne's going to fucking die. They take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait. Look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. This is well, sus. <laughs> here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horse. I feel like he's going to get shot right through the head. All right. I'll do just that. Mm, something's maybe not right. I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. I can handle a weapon. Probably better than you. We're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Okay. Again. People wonder how you can handle it. Living by your gun. Bitch. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. This guy's kind of pulled when himself, I get huh? Home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little oh, ones. Oh, that's nice. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm so trying to you make say. my as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, I don't think he's suspicious, but it's suspicious that he's so confident. Hands. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Well. Good. Do you see how confident he is? Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Oh, I feel now, like Wayne's gonna Neil's, die. He's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Oh. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess the figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. So far, so safe, but I'm still suspicious. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Thank you, Wayne. Hi, Wayne. So I just think of Deadpool, no matter what happens. I'm just constantly thinking of Deadpool. Nils. That movie lives rent-free in my mind. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, okay. Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. A Kratos axe. I'll take one Leviathan axe, please. building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope, okay. Is okay, the only word he knows, Loki. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. I kind of like him. He's kind of sweet. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, what do we do? Do we just wait then? <laughs> so Milton oh. is uh, working with cakes, hardwood, and timber in town. He understood what we were saying. I get pay you and add it to his bill up there. Okay. Come on, let's get moving. I'm so confused. That was so easy. I thought he was just walking away from us. I didn't realize he was actually giving us the okay. tools or whatever. <laughs> I'm right, suspicious. Beecher's hope. Something's gonna happen. Been trying to sell that property for some time. Something's gonna it? happen. Something's gonna happen. Took a look happen. at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World need. Oh! Everyone find some cover! <laughs> Very funny. Oh! God damn! Keep your head down! My god! I'm my god! They're everywhere! They're fucking everywhere! How many are there? Are they behind me too? They're behind me too, aren't they? 
my god, where are they now? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, 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 no. He's gonna shoot me. Wait, wait, I need another one. Oh my god, oh my god. This is a fucking disaster. Oh wait, there's only one more. I'm freaking out for no reason. Oh, he's dead. You know what? Life is okay. Except that Wayne guy. Wayne is not right. okay. <laughs> you alive? No. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more. Oh. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. Poor Mr. Wayne. Uh, stay here, guard the wagons. Charles, come on. Was I supposed to get my horse? Oh my god. Wait, they're literally everywhere. Do I have any dynamite? Please, no. Okay, that's that's fine. I didn't need dynamite. Oh my god. Wait, what'd you say? I missed it. What were you saying? I don't know where. Oh my god! 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 Where is he? Where is he? Oh, right here! Right here! I see him! Fuck me! Oh my god! I keep missing! I keep missing! Oh my god! Oh, it took me 500 times! Where are they now? Wait, he's still up there? Jesus! It's like I, I, it's like, I, it's like, wait, where are they? I thought we killed him. No, I don't see him. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I see him! Oh my God, Jesus. That took a moment. Oh, well, sorry, I'm looting. Give me a moment though. <laughs> sorry, I'm freaking out. Where are they? Oh my God. Well, there's one right there. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, oh, I missed him. Okay. Oh my god, no, 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 come back! Oh my god, you're still alive, aren't you? You're still alive and kicking, aren't you? He's still alive. Mr. Wayne, we're right here! We've got you now, you piece of shit! No! Oh! Fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Where are they? Oh! Right in front of me! Goodbye! Lovely knowing ya! Lovely knowing ya! Oh my god! My bad! Ooh! Gnarly! Oh my god! My health! My poor health! My poor health! This is a fucking mess! I'm a fucking mess! Where is he? Where is he? Oh, it's oh, so stressful. Wayne? I'm so stressed. I'm incredibly stressed. Wayne's probably it's dead. Wayne's probably dead. Hey. Mr. Wayne. Hey. Charles, I found the tools. Oh, well, that's more important than Mr. Wayne. At least we got the Where tools back. Oh no. Shit. He has a family, though. Jesus. I knew something bad would happen to Mr. Move Wayne. Fast. Come on. Wait. Move fast. Where? Let's go. Back to the road. God. God damn it. A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. I knew it. Knew I fucking. Yeah. I fucking knew it. Did he? Skinner. Everyone knows. He has a family, though. Except me. Later, John. Oh, bye, Wayne. Charles, you all right carrying him? 
I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody too. Is he? Is it bad? They opened him up pretty good. Wait, is he dead? He chopped his head in two. God, I thought he was dead. Him. Are you saying he's alive? Are you saying there's a chance? I thought he was just fucking dead. Oh. Yeah, he is dead. I, for some reason, I thought there was a chance that he wasn't, but no. Turns out he, he's he's definitely dead. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. They cleaved him in two. Well, it was nice knowing you, Wayne. Those goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. I just don't know why they ambushed us, I guess. Get us back to beaches. Oh my goodness. Well, Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over It's with. never really over, is what it? Was all the nonsense about civilization? There's always going to be something, right? This kind of right? bloodshed... It's different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? They en wait, they enjoyed no, that? Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Wait. And I hope we put an end to it. For now, anyway. There was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Men, women, children. Oh. Ended up like Wayne. Or worse. Uncle! I keep cutting oh, off the dialogue because I think I'm going too fast. I'm sorry. I'm oh, trying God. not to like tap. I'm trying to just hold you down. Useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? He was napping, wasn't Whoa. he? What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. You Once know, it's a miracle done, John's still alive at this point. Back to town. You pull Mr. Wayne Barry. It's a miracle okay. any of these guys are still alive. Look at what happened to Mr. Well, Wayne. Well, well, I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. That's kind of wholesome. If you say so. This is this house doesn't look very pre-made to me. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. We are gonna win Abigail back, right? 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 <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset if we don't. Hey there, Charles. Morning to you. Tell me, how's it going? I'm fine. Great. Sounds good, John. Charles has such a unique voice. Doesn't he? Where's uncle? Oh, uncle's over there. Uh, I kind of wish I'd looted all of the Skinner guys back there, but I kind of just forgot. <laughs> That's so rare. Usually, I, I never forget looting, but... Those plans make any sense? There. Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Now, that is plain unfair. It, it's... Inaccurate and not what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Are you use what you've got, which is less of a brain? Muscles, yeah. Let's get started. Well, God. first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless oh. you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me I would. when the work day's over. I would. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy. John. You know what? I'll say it. I'll say it. Uncle has grown on me. Uncle has grown on me. <laughs> I need help moving these joists. Now, come on. <laughs> get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. <laughs> He's right. I should get on with this. I love the epilogue. <laughs> It's so great. We're doing a little time lapse. So when they said like 
pre-made house. I was thinking more along the lines of a house that you just is made and you and, and, and you just put it somewhere. I wasn't thinking you actually have to build it. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh wait, this is so cute! I love the music! I hope our finger doesn't get hammered. This is so wholesome! <laughs> Abigail's gonna be so proud of us, and if she's not, well, she fucking better be. Look at all the hard work we're putting in. Look at the gesture we've made for her. Not that that entitles us to her love, but I hope she gives us another chance. The song. This is adorable. This is actually a really big house. Cold wind whenever. No matter oh, it's a birdie! Hey, birdie! <laughs> We're together. How long do you think it would take to build a house like this in this exact way? Yeah, so somehow. Oh, there's a birdie again! Somehow I thought when Uncle said, like, you can buy house right out of the magazine. I was expecting, you know, it to be a joke. But then we went to see the guy and he was like, yes, buy a house right out of the magazine. But then we actually have to build it. I just, the expectation management, <laughs> this, this was not it. <laughs> I want someone to build a house for me. You know what? If someone isn't willing to build a house for me, it ain't it. They're not the one for me. I want this type of effort. I want this type of love. <laughs> this is what I want. There's a cat hair on me. No, it's a human hair. <laughs> Sorry. Let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. You don't have a John in your life. If they're not even... If they don't hold a candle to John, they shouldn't be in your life. They shouldn't be your partner. They shouldn't be your person. This is what we should all have in our life. This is what we all deserve. This is true love. Uncle's trying to dance. That's so cute. Oh, It really looks like a real, real house along together so nicely. You know, if Abigail doesn't forgive us, I'm gonna be surprised, not gonna lie. And I think that's everything! <laughs> we have a house! We have a home and John we built Marston, it! You have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. <laughs> and says, you, I Charles, know. as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. It was built with love. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> We're gonna write to her. My darling Abigail. I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful. 
unexpectedly in his own fashion. Unexpectedly helpful. <laughs> Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, friendship. we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please come back to oh, me. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Yours always, John. If she doesn't take him back, I'll take John. I'll take you, John. I'll live in a home that you built, John. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful home. You know what? I think he actually really loves her. Oh. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Where the hell is he? Can I explore the home real quick? I'm gonna explore the home real quick. I wanna go inside. I wanna see what we built. Oh. I'm gonna cry. This is such a nice home, John. I hope she comes back. I, I like kind of thought she would have been back by now, low-key. I'm like trying to force the tears to stay in my eyes. Hold on. Oh no, there's still one threatening to come out. Do you see it? <laughs> Do you see the tear? It's hanging on for dear life. She escaped. The tear escaped. Oh, this could be his room. This could be Jack's room. You know what? I always thought that John was with Abigail more out of duty than anything. They seem like they have a fondness for each other and everything, but I never thought that it was like super romantic love. Like I know they have Jack and they had to have like done things to get Jack, but oops. What am I stepping on? I feel like this house is just a representation that, like, John really does love Abigail. He did all of this for her. Oh, the feelings I have. And it's a huge fucking house, too. Look at it. It's enormous. She would love this. Is it locked? That's whack. It's just such a lovely gesture, you know? If our men ain't like John, they're not worth having. True story. Caleb did buy me a present the other day. He bought me an iPad for my for my thumbnails, <laughs> so I can do thumbnails a little bit easier. So I guess in that sense, I do have a John in my life, don't just I? Just one time, I hope to find you working. <laughs> just once. Do you believe working, in doing what though? John we finished the house. <laughs> no. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin, so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some. Two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. grazing. I'm sorry. I, just, yeah, I love so, Uncle now. So cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but. They taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. We have to build something take else? three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. We're I'll such a grumpus. <laughs> You know, Uncle's right. We all all we do is whine. I was so harsh on him for the main game, but God, I love Uncle. He's fucking dope. <laughs> He's funny. And then John over here, we are a little cranky. Not gonna lie. 
Here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Wow. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. So that we can get some oh, peace and quiet. That, John, let's get robbed again. <laughs> oh no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. <laughs> ah, you ain't even got furniture. We'll get furniture. Don't worry. We'll get some lavish furnishings ah. for our lovely home. Seriously, I am impressed by that home though. Like, it's really beautiful. Like, and very large. Like, I would be so happy in a home like that. There's a lot of space. There is plenty of room for Uncle to live with us, Charles to live with us, Sadie to come visit. Sadie can have her own little, like, guest room. And then, um, Jack and Abigail. Jack can have his own room. Abigail and me would have, uh, me being John, we would have our own room. There is so much space in there. That could have fit the entire gang, you know, way back in the day. <laughs> oh, Grimshaw would have made it kind of homey too, huh? This is him. I did that. I haven't thought about Grimshaw in a minute. Alright, we here. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? What? I think he just has me confused with someone else. We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, we're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, it's my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. Uh, it, it's great seeing you again, I'll. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. He's confused. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. Which is? I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I, but this <laughs> man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Sadie, I need some work. I need to do some work. Hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. And you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. <laughs> Aww. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. Should I go forward? I have it on good yeah. authority. We can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. All right. Okay. I'll follow you. All right. The Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. Okay. I'm sorry for going too fast. I was going the way the game was telling me to go. What is she doing? Always was a little dreamy. Like I was talking about. Yeah, like you was talking about. The salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, old up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie, hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. She He's just with said. The Lobo kind. <laughs> yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> charming to a fault. 
Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Ooh. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. Sounds like that a country Dutch would love. For the place. It isn't somewhere I vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Yeah. I got hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm. I'm sorry, John. Oh, we fought it's okay. Back. We're okay. <laughs> Just <he> not him. <laughs> I wish we'd done better for him. Yeah. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. Me too. Probably won't be, though. But if not, I mean to be ready. That did we rescue Sean wise. in this area? You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. I think house. we did. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Good and sturdy. Woo. Homie. John Marston's got his own house. You can come visit. You come see yeah, it. there's room for you, too. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that, I try lots of not space. to fraternize too much with employees. Oh, I see. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, I see how it is. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. An employee. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what the bank says. I love her fucking oh. voice. Well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I, I definitely could ship them. But, like, I know his heart's with Abigail, but, like, if Abigail were to, say, die tragically, um, Sadie and I could have a go of it. I think she would be a fantastic partner. Fairly low maintenance, too. <laughs> She'd just be off making money and hunting bounties all the time. That sounds like an easy-to-please woman. I say that as a woman who is not very easy to please at all. Um, I'm rather difficult. I'm rather high maintenance, so that's why I admire Sadie so much, because she is everything that I do not represent. Oh, sorry, Sadie. <laughs> you got in my way, girl. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. So I'm far. Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. All right. Let me make sure I've got some guns. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Okie dokie. Call her if you get him. Investigate the barn. Alrighty. Oh, oh, I got stuck. I can't go in this way. Oh, can I kick it? Break lock. Let's try to be slightly quiet, maybe. I mean, what's the point? She's loud. <laughs> Why am I even trying to be quiet here? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Calmly and nobody will get hurt. Oh my god. I forgot all the controls. <laughs> You got him? I think so. That was easy. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. She's so cool. <laughs> She's so nonchalant Come about on, everything. Mom. Let's go for a ride. Nothing seems to ever phase her. Roads. Roads? It's different there now. Follow Sadie to Rhodes. Alrighty. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Do I believe oh, it? Up. Do I believe it? No. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> My cheeks hurt from smiling because the epilogue gives me so much joy. Oh. No more smiling today. No more happiness. No more laughing. It hurts my cheeks so much. I'm not accustomed to being this happy when we record anything. <laughs> I'm so used to, like, um, being depressed. I think I'm supposed to go to the general store here. This place still gives me the creeps. Oh yeah, after what we did. After we killed literally everyone here. All the greys, right? Alright. Alright, stranger. 
Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. I'm I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that I'm bitch. stuck. Two hundred. Three hundred I'm for her stuck. head. I'm stuck. Be quiet. I'm stuck, y'all. I'm gonna put the horse here, and then I'm going to grab him. Oh wait, loot! I want to loot him before I turn him in. Let's see what you got in here. Yes, indeed. It wasn't that good, but I'll take it. The horse belongs to Sadie and cannot be mounted at this time. I wasn't trying to mount Sadie's horse. He looks very angry at me. Sadie's horse kind of scares me. No cap. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon I wonder Ramon who the Cortez. sheriff is now. Cortez. Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> This looks like the other sheriff guy. Hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give two thousand dollars in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, Mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. All right. Sure. I uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> the bad old days that we were a part of, right? <laughs> Nervous laughter. <laughs> oh, we kind of looked like Arthur right there. Me. Hung our head back. I miss Arthur. <laughs> oh, the moon looks nice. Why am I getting a bad feeling? Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. Bad feeling. You want that friend back? No, you can't have him. Have about ten seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him Shit. Have it, boys. They broke him out. They like pulled the jail. Blew my jail apart. Oh. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. We should have asked for paid payment. unless he Hot. makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. 75. I can't go higher. Fine. Done. <laughs> Let's go, Jim Milton. Mount up. Oh, that was fun, though. Come on, lady. Where are we going to find him? 
He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. It's a good place sure. to start. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stolen. She off, has, hasn't and she? And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got okay. stole off both I'm of I'm sorry. Someone must have talked. We had a nerve well, with her. One of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks. Waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse? Yeah. Guess we were. We should have asked like for payment it. before the waiting. The done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. Okay. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez... We don't die. We're coming back with him. Don't you worry I feel about I that. get the feeling we're gonna be outnumbered though, Sadie. I get that feeling. It's an odd thing, isn't it? Look at the moon. We'll so pretty. Two hundred dollars from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take two thousand dollars from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. Mm. I never said I was tempted. By I am. <laughs> I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's yeah. got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. Yeah. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Everything's a little bit corrupt, isn't it? And, and, and you know, if this game has taught us anything, it's always more complicated than that. Because how many times was, I mean, Arthur was wanted at multiple times but he wasn't necessarily someone who deserved to be hung i mean granted we did kill a lot of people as arthur but you know what i'm saying like i understand that cd can't second guess every single job she's given but it is difficult to trust in the system when i feel like the system is corrupt and unfair and it does even to this day easily uh target individuals over other individuals down yeah. there fire i'd wager that's them Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Okay. Do you want me to just continue going forward? I'm useless without a waypoint, girl. Like, I'm gonna just be real with you. I... No waypoints. I don't know what I'm doing. Simple as that. Up here. All Come. right. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Whoa. Let's go up. I still need to give him a haircut. I'm so sorry. I know some of you guys are probably they really must mad be about camping that. down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get him. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't oh. getting you killed out there. I'll try. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, <gasps> <A> mood. <laughs> those bastards don't look that tough. I want to die. <laughs> they look asleep, as far as I can tell. Oh my God, Sadie. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? I feel just you, girl. Don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. You're right. I'll do what I'm goddamn told. And shoot well. <laughs> I fucking love Sadie. I love her so much. When can I start shooting? Hey! Damn it, Sadie. Oh. I'm missing them. Where are they? Oh! Oh, I see one! Now where do I find another one? Here! Goodbye. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, oh, I think I see some people running. Wait, no. I think- Oh, I was hallucinating. Oh, 
Oh! Did we get everyone? I don't know. I, I'm looking too far. I don't know where they are! I'm sorry! I don't see them! I don't I don't even see where the shots are coming from, girl. I don't got them. I'm gonna fail this mission. Oh! I found one! Oh shit. I forgot that I can take damage. <laughs> very funny, very funny. Oh no, I missed him. How did I miss him? Oh, that's Sadie. That's why. Oh, how did I not get them? Sad. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh my god, my health! No! There we go, finally! Goodness gracious, I'm bad at this. Oh, I see someone, I see someone, I see someone! Goodbye! Lovely knowing ya. Oh, he just fell off, oh, I love that! Oh my god, there's more! I'm trying to stay with you. I'm not. I'm not doing very. I'm not doing a very good job of it, though. Okay. 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 Oh no! I didn't mean to shoot that. Oh my god! I'm playing like trash. Oh my god! Capture him alive? That sounds difficult. You want to die right now, Cortez? <laughs> I'm going to die anyway. So you really want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court. Get over here. All right, all right, amigo. I'm coming. As Brian, you should. Clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Why do I kind of like him though? <laughs> Why do I think he's kind of cool? I think it's admirable! Get he escaped so well! I mean, we've caught him, so maybe not that well, but... It's impressive easy, still! Easy, oh, you gave up easy a long time ago! Oh. Hey, look out! There's more of them coming! Hey! Estoy aquí. No, you're not here! You're not here! Why did you see that? Where did go? They keep coming, all right? Come on, still alive. Oh my god, I see someone. You want oh. Come over here and get him! You ain't that guy friend, you know? Oh my god. Fuck! Get this guy needs to come back here. Is he dead yet? Finally. <laughs> Any more? I think we're good. Are we done? I think we're good. We might just be. Son of a bitch. All right. Can I just well, take you? Well, that's that then. Let's loot you. Help real me quick. load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. Oh, he's like under the I'm boat right now. Well clear. <laughs> oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Look at him. He's like halfway under the boat. I think that's so it's funny. Nice show, remember? You do the heavy lifting. I know, I know. I would loot right now, but it's kind of dark. So, I won't. Let's <laughs> get out of here. There you are, Missy. It's about time we collected this bounty. Yeah. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You're, you're a dead woman. Oh. And you are a dead man. Mm. The Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. Oh no. And we will kill you. You and any 
someone who is close to you. Oh no. When he was offering money. I liked Don't that too. So I'm sorry, I'm going the wrong way. I'm literally going the wrong way. There we go. <laughs> I'm so fucking you blind. Just talking about something. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, I don't Ramon, trust it. What we got here uh, yeah. is a trust issue. <laughs> yeah, we do oh, have a trust issue. It. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Anita Hang. You ain't good for anything. True. Very true. Listen, I swear. Uh, I don't believe ya. All you can do is swear. I think but he's pretty cool though. I like him. I kinda don't want him to die. <laughs> Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. I want five thousand dollars, though. You ain't gonna find much use for it in the short. It could pay off for. Left. It could pay for a barn. Oh, damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, Mister. We ain't got far to go. It could pay for the barn, oh, though. <laughs> big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have. Yes. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you! How are you gonna come well, for me if you're dead, though? Like, low-key. I'm just- I'm just wondering. Like, how do you see that playing out, sir? I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Oh, look. The, the dead bodies are all still here. I could still loot them. Here we are! Back again! Looks Back like... again. Sadie, what the hell are you doing? Cool down, girl. Hello. Big mistake. <laughs> Real big mistake. Oh, the way he says that. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. Dinero. I want my Just dinero. Just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon get for me, me would you? Por favor. How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. <laughs> Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Good. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. I Let's want go, to be boys. paid now, though. See you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> he's definitely going to escape. Like, there's no way he's going to successfully die. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? Or nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. How much money Zero, do you think I made? Partner. Bye, Sadie. Hope to see you soon. Oh, I was kind of hoping we'd stay in Rhodes, because I actually wanted to go somewhere in Rhodes. But we're back here. <laughs> Damn. So we did pay off some of our debt, at least. All right, y'all, I have returned after a short break that totally did not accidentally turn into a four hour Netflix watch. Good girl. <laughs> I'm just brushing Rachel over here. I think Rachel's a great name for a horse. When you guys played the epilogue, was your horse also named Rachel or was it completely randomized? Did you guys have the same exact horse that I do have? You and was it, it Rachel? Anyway, she was dirty as fuck, so <laughs> I brushed her a little bit. So this is our home. I feel like it's we we've added on Is this a stable? I literally don't even remember this being here. Or is this a garage? What would they need a garage for? They don't have cars. Um stable for horses, I'm thinking, maybe, or I don't know. Is this the barn? Okay, call me crazy, but I never noticed that John makes sounds like really heavy breathing sounds when we run. That's so different from Arthur. Wait, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Oh my god, did you guys see the clouds change really fucking quickly? Or was that just me? I might be hallucinating. John's breathing. 
is must be doing something to me. You know what? If your girl doesn't talk about you the way that I talk about John, to the streets. To the streets! No, this is the stable. Then what was that little other place that was over there? What? Anyway. Oh, look, we have crops now? Shit, dude, look at us! We're actually making, like, like a, a place where we've actually not just made a home, but, like, an entire property for Abigail. All because we love her. I'm gonna check in here. Oh my god, that was aggressive. I'm gonna check in here before we do anything else. You know, I can't stop thinking about John's very attractive breathing now. We have, like, a little washroom that's so cute. Can I take a bath? No. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, what if I could give myself, like, a little bath, like the Valentine ladies give me a little deluxe bath, if you will. But I can't give myself a bath, so it's all moot. But, what's over here? Weapon locker. Oh, a weapon locker, you say? Well, that's kind of cool. I don't think I'm gonna, like, really worry about this too much because my aim kind of sucks no matter what so i'll just i'll just book it out of here but i think abigail would love this place like we have lights we have a bathroom area we've like decorated the place i'm making maybe not this room this room looks the same as it did last time we were in this house but we have like furniture and shit like look how homey it is oh shit what did i step on and ruin what did i break this feels homey how long has it been I was only gone for four hours. <laughs> Damn, Johnny, you were quick. You were quick. Look at all the improvements to your home and the fireplace, mantle thingy, and there's even like a painting. I'm gonna be pressed if Abigail doesn't absolutely fall in love with this. There's tile! Wait, this is so stylish though. It needs to be cleaned. But like, look how stylish. Excellent taste. I feel like he poured love into every inch of this entire home for Abigail and for Jack. Oh, look. It's our room. This would be our room with Abigail. Can I sleep? Can I sleep? No? Oh, all right. What's in here? Can I open anything in here? Oh, uh, okay. What is that? I don't know what's in there. I'll just close it. Yeah, the home is a little bit dirty, but... John built this for Abigail and- oh! It's beautiful! Fast travel. Yeah, I thought I saw a fast travel map in here earlier when we were looking at it. It didn't work back then, but it works now. Okay, so now is the time in our life where I just want to chill out, lay back, and explore. Because it is almost bedtime but I want to finish up this episode. I don't think I'll do any more main missions today. I think I just want to explore, go to the places that you guys told me to go to. I have a list right here. The General Store and Roads, um, train station in San Denis, uh, train station in Valentine, train station in Annisburg. I'm gonna have to revisit the Widow and visit Hamish. Uh, I definitely want to do those. So this sounds silly, but I kind of want to do this in order of how like the game kind of started. Like we kind of started the, uh, entire game and journey in Valentine, so I'd actually like to go to Valentine first. Oh, and when, when we're in Valentine, we can get our hair cut. Because I've been procrastinating that all episode, and I, I know that some of y'all are just mad at me for doing that. I know, I feel it, I feel it. You know what? After a four hour break, I feel so refreshed. I'm so happy. <laughs> I fatigue really easily, and my attention span probably doesn't help that issue, but damn! You know what? Say what you will about procrastination and about poor time management, and say what you will about letting time get away from you and everything, but damn, I feel good. I feel happy. Is this what drugs feel like? Is this, is this, is this what well-restedness feels like? I love it. It's fantastic. 100% would do again. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is so dark. Oh, look at the stars. Damn, oh, that's Let's so keep going. Pretty. Who, who's Watch fucking yourself. disrupting my moments <laughs> of solitude and peacefulness? <laughs> it's a stranger mission. Shit. I don't really want to do a stranger mission right now. Oh shit, what am I breaking? Oh god, oh god. Oh shit, oh f Damn. fuck me. Oh, it's so lively in here. I have some good memories in here. Don't think I've seen you here before. I'd like to get my hair well, cut, please. I'll have you neatened up in no time. Um, I like the beard short because we can see his scars, and he looks really cute with scars. So I'm gonna keep his beard pretty short, I think. I kind of like 
the non pomade. Better than you hoped, I, bet. I think it's cute like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Oh, you know what? Is the train even open? The train station even open because it's Parker? nighttime? Oh, uh, I'll get a hotel. I'll get a room at the hotel and then we'll go to the train station. All right. right. Oh, it is so Thanks. early. Wow. It's very bright outside. All right, to the train station we go. I think I have to go, I have to just go forward for a little bit and then I'll eventually run into it. It looks like it's closed, the train station. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> Um, that's- that's a problem. I needed to go to the train- I need to be in the train station. Do I just need to go in? What do I need to do here? Um, okay, give me a moment. Hello. Morning. Oh, hello. Oh, you seem Sometimes nice. Sometimes I wonder how any of us cope. Oh? Keep at it, huh? Be safe now. Okay, I- I don't know what I was supposed to see the train station. Well, I mean... Mary Beth? Mary Beth. I literally- Joy? I literally ran past Joy, you, girl! You? How the hell are you? Oh, I'm very well. How are you? Good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Sweet oh, we're boy. not telling her. Not anymore. <laughs> but he's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I'm right now. Silly romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. Oh, I'm so glad. Dude. My pen name is Leslie DuPont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Oh, the books pretty. are unambiguously awful, but they sell. And she's the best selling author, too. So I still think about you all. That was. That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur. Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. Me too. And Dutch? <laughs> Ran off someplace. All aboard. Such a shame. Last call. Oh, anyway, John, I better get on my train. Oh. It's really lovely seeing you. Oh, here. It's for you. No, stay a moment, Thank please. You. Stay a moment. Take care now. Bye. I'm Mary Beth. Do you think I could run? No, do you think I could hop on and still talk to her? I'm desperate, I'm desperate. Okay, maybe this was the wrong way to go about this. Oh, I could have made that work actually if I hadn't fucked it up, but I, I kind of wanted to still talk to her. I went about that wrong. I can't believe she's a best-selling author, and she's doing something she loves. All right, girl. She has so much more substance than I think Grimshaw ever made her feel like she had. Oh, I'm gonna fucking cry! No, 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 no tears today. No tears. No tears. Does this mean all the other uh, train stations have people that we knew? Yep. Are we gonna run into Trelawney next or something? Wait, who's next? Who else survived? Tilly! Maybe we'll run into Tilly! What did the horse do right there? My goodness. I'm like going through the gang members in my head and like everyone's yeah. dead or we've already like Thanks run into that, them. Friend. Yeah, not quite sure who to expect, but you know what? I'll probably have fun no matter what. I can't believe we saw Mary Beth, you guys. I loved her. I thought she was great. I think it's interesting that she asked about Dutch. I wonder if Dutch's feelings were completely unrequited or not. She didn't seem to be very interested in his advances when we were um, in the main game, but maybe there was a little something there that I missed that she felt for him. Or maybe she just was curious about the leader, you know? Because everyone's asked about Dutch. Um, Charles asked about Dutch. And, uh... John Marston? I don't believe it! I thought you were dead! Oh my god! Person, what are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> welcome to my store. How can I help you? He has a store! <laughs> are you serious? Yeah! Beats the old butcher's table, doesn't it? <laughs> this so is so perfect for him! Me, oh, this is so... How the hell are you? Oh, this is Pretty so good. perfect for him. Got some land in Great Plains? Should visit some time. Trying to get a small ranch going. 
I'll buy a few things. Pearson was someone who I didn't really think about often in the main game, but I, I, I feel like I didn't quite appreciate him enough. He was a very important part of the gang, right? And I just, it's so great to see him in such a normal role doing something that he's so good at. You know, it's just, it's lovely, okay? It's fucking, it's lovely. Really? Wow, good for you. Staying out of trouble then? I uh, wouldn't go that far, but I'm trying. <laughs> well, uh, I'm at a loss for words. So am I. It was lovely to see you, dude. It just reminds me of better times. So thank you for being here and for not being dead or anything. I appreciate it and I, I, I wish you well in your lovely life here, dude. Thanks for your time. Oh. Wait, where am I trying to go? Oh, I'm trying to go here. I want to take a stagecoach to somewhere else. Hopefully run into someone else. I would love to take a ride, please. For now. Sorry. Why do I have a bounty on myself? Uh, is it because I ran over someone? Disappointed but not surprised. Hey, bounty. I didn't even know I had a bounty Got on myself. Bills to pay, huh? Apparently. We we're all paid. Our, our score's all settled. Now can I get a ride? Okay, we're going to go to... Let's go to San Denis, and then we'll go to Annisburg. Get out of the damn way! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I can't imagine playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and not having the epilogue. I have gotten so much closure and happiness from this you. epilogue. You have no idea how grateful I feel. You know what, I I'm really disappointed that Strauss is dead because I would have yeah. loved to see him maybe in another role, see him do something different with his life. I would have loved to have run into him. Everyone gives Strauss a lot of shit. I actually don't see him as that evil. Uh, not any more evil though than Micah and Dutch anyway. All right, so somewhere in this area. So far, not good. I can't find anyone. Hey, is it day. you? Let me vote, let me vote, let me vote. Well, I'll I talk to you even if you're not the person. As as takes. Come on, people. Let me vote. I, I miss. I'll talk to you her. You know, it's terribly important. What is? Voting? Yes, terribly. It is important. Once go out and vote. vote. Register to vote right now. Register to vote right now. Go do it. Go do it. There'll be no I registered wars, the other day. No hunger. No stupidity. We'll elect a woman president within the first 10 years, oh, of I course. Oh, I wish, sweetie. I you wish. You see, men are such judgmental prigs. You need us women to help straighten you out. Okay? With us helping. I'm not saying there won't be trouble. I just think we'll do a better job of things. No, I... I hope you're right. I actually think that teamwork is the best approach here. Not that necessarily women would do better, but we just, we add a lot. We are I'll vital, we are necessary. until I die if I have to. I don't care. I, I want Okay, so you know, you know the last person? We talked to someone. I have a brain. My God, she's kind of annoying, Let I'm sorry. I, 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 she has a right to be angry. I know, I know, I know she has no rights and she, she wants rights and that makes complete and utter sense to me. It's people like her that fought for my rights today. I appreciate that, but also I don't like her attitude. I think she's kind of annoying. She rubs me the wrong way. Is that like my internalized misogyny? I don't know. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh my god. Is that Tilly? That's Tilly. Miss Tilly. That's Mrs. Tilly to you. You got married! How are you? I'm okay. Did she get married? How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. I'm well. Wait, is she pregnant? Well and happy. Is she pregnant? Wait, I think I she's miss pregnant. You and Abigail. She's well. Jack's well. All is well, I think. I, I never thanked you for what you did. Oh, there's the trolley. I still think about all of you all the time. My life, it's different now. Mine too. But I still see a bunch of Charles and Uncle and Sadie. So not quite so different as Abigail would like. I married a lawyer. He's a fine man. We live in a house. Us too. 
That's great. Oh, so I've got to go. I'm late. But can I write to you and Abigail someplace? Uh, yeah, we're up at Beecher's Hope, over in Great Plains, West Elizabeth. I'll try. Be well, John Marston. Congrats, Tilly. Oh, do you know what? I I wish that everyone who would die didn't die, because I would have loved to visit Lenny and Hosea and Sean and Grimshaw. I would have I would have loved to see them and what they they could have been up to if they hadn't died. I'm not crying. I'm not. I am so fucking happy right now. I'm not crying. I'm... Look at me. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm so happy for her. She's expecting. I'm pretty sure she was pregnant. She has a family. She married well. She looked taken care of. She was in a beautiful dress. Oh, I'm gonna get run over. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, run me over. I don't care. I, I know it's not like that big of a deal, but I'm just, I'm happy for them. And they all have better lives. So you know what, you know what, maybe it was worth it. That's what it makes me think. Like maybe if some of them could have a life, a normal maybe life, stopped, then maybe it was all worth it. Hello there and welcome. My God, what was that? Great, thanks. What, did my horse just break? <laughs> property I love that that's fucking hilarious maybe someone's outside that I can talk to excuse me hello Brain's didn't I meet you a long time ago I don't know with uh, Arthur Arthur Morgan oh yes yeah my name is Rainsfall and I'm Jim Milton John Marston oh is Arthur, uh, he passed away a long time ago. Oh, I'm sorry. He saved my life. He gave his. That doesn't surprise me one bit. <laughs> and you? I know you had tough times. Ah, uh, well, my people aren't really a tribe. We're just a bunch of families, I suppose. But we're in Canada now, and it's, uh... What are you doing here? Are you visiting I, a grave? Is you really, I don't really know. Are you visiting your son? My son, I suppose. Oh, he fell. I, I know. I'm sorry. I've got a son. I'm very sorry. Oh, it was a long time ago now. Well still feels pretty recent to me. <laughs> good to see you, uh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> and you. Uh, so old. I'm glad he... I'm glad he kept moving on, like, moving forward, not moving on, but... I'm glad that he's still alive and everything. Three days later. Okay, y'all, so since we were in Annisburg, I thought that the widow was pretty close by. I decided to go see her because that's on the list of things that we're supposed to do, so let's go say hi. Let's go see what she's up to. She's never met John, so this might be awkward. This might be a little awkward, low-key. Hello there. Can I help you? Hi, Charlotte. Uh, I think you knew a friend of mine. A fella called Arthur Morgan. Came by and helped you with some hunting and skinning. She probably looks so different. Probably seven or eight years back. Yes, of course. Or I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for him. Yeah. Well, unfortunately... He passed, soon after. I figured he might not have had long left. Such a shame. He found me at my lowest point and he lifted me up. Glad to see you're doing well, ma'am. He wrote fondly of you. Oh, I couldn't be happier. Listen, 
It's a long way out here. You're welcome to take whatever you need from the house for your travel. No, no, that ain't necessary. Please, I have everything I need and more. But he gave me the ability to survive. And now I'm writing. Any friend of Arthur's is a friend of mine. Please take something. It would make me happy. Well, that's very kind of you, ma'am. Aren't you a little close there? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Even if some people's lives are cut short, maybe they're meant to live on in other people's lives through memories. You know, I'm not saying like Arthur's was meant to die or anything, but I'll take the jewelry. <laughs> but um, I think it's so beautiful that he lives on still in spirit. And people still think about him, so in that way, he's still alive. I'll take a health cure. I could always use a health cure. <laughs> I would feel bad if I looted, like, her entire her entire house, but, like, is that gonna stop me? No, not necessarily. <laughs> you know, I took a health cure, I took some jewelry. I probably don't need to search anymore. I say as I open a new door, enter it and take a look around. No, seriously, I'm done. I don't need anything else. I don't need anything else. We're good. We're good. I can... I can be done, I think. I can be done. I don't want to take everything. You take care of yourself out here, ma'am. Bye, Charlotte. She looks well. She looks like she's taking care of herself, just as Arthur would have wanted her to, just like Arthur taught her to. You know, if Arthur hadn't passed away, I would have loved for him and Charlotte to just have a simple little, you know, country life just up here on this little hill. And while she was writing, he could have been drawing or something. And they may not have had kids or anything, but they would have had just companionship in one another. And you know what? Thinking about what could have been just kind of breaks my heart. I'm just happy that she's doing well. I feel like at the end of the day, Arthur touched so many lives and it definitely eases the pain of his passing, you know? That he had such a positive impact on so many people, even if... Even if he couldn't have, I guess, a peaceful, normal life, he made it possible so that others could. And I think that's really lovely. Alright, I would like to go see Hamish now, and then we'll probably, we'll probably end the episode here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Typical. Here we are. We are at Hamish's. Hello, sir. You don't know me. And who might you be? <laughs> a caller. John Marston. I'm a friend of Arthur's. Uh, years ago, a friend of mine helped you retrieve your horse. You became friends? Oh, yeah. Arthur. Yeah. He remembers. How is he? Oh. Uh, sorry to say, he passed soon after that. Ah. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. I read about you in his journal. Been calling in on folks. Well, I'm grateful I'm one of them. Uh, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. It's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you into war. Progress, well. It ain't always progress. There's always a cost. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. You do? Yeah, I guess. Come look at these. What do you mean company? Arthur caught that. Huh, did he? And he killed that with his hands. That's quite something. He didn't mean yeah, people I got company. The whole of nature up here. <laughs> he meant animal, dead animal and company. I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Dead animal trophy company. <laughs> They weren't lying. What's this? What? Right there by the outhouse. What? Look at the size of that boar. Oh my Holy god, it's hell. fat. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. She thick! She thick, Let's boy! Okay. That... Damn, boy! Damn, I thought I got him! Pursue! I'll grab the mouse! <laughs> Pursue! Oh my god, kill the boar. What? I don't have any of my favorite guns! Oh. 
my god. Did it die yet? Fuck, dude. Oh my god. I'm never gonna fight. Oh my god. Search the area for signs of a boar. We gotta, we gotta make sure we find it. Try not to get murdered by it. It will be tricky, but I'm sure we can manage. Where's he going? Shit, where is he? I got the horses. Come on. Okay. I'm afraid I lost sight of him. Don't worry. Tracks go this way. Come on. Okay. I'll just follow then. Come on. See that thing? It's as big as a buffalo. Okay, what gun do I want? I think Lancaster up here. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. All right, we'll get her. Big shit. He's been across here twice. Then what do we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right. Should we get off our horses? This one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up, and I'll go onwards. All right. Okay. Easy. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Come on, we're gonna get like knocked over by it, aren't we? I can just I feel like that's gonna happen. We're just gonna get fucking accosted. Is that a word? Is that a word for it? I feel like we're gonna get like just fucking bowled over by this thing if we find it. Oh, it killed something. What's that? Oh, it killed something. That could easily be me. If we're not careful. All the board probably did was just step on the wolf, and that's why it's dead. Horn wolves, too. My goodness. Oh! Damn it. I hear something. Oh, I think Hamish is in trouble. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta make sure he's okay. Hamish! Hamish! Easy there. Shit! He's after him! Okay, wait. Pull out your gun! Why aren't you pulling out your gun? Jesus. John isn't paying attention to me. I love that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, where is it? Where is it? Oh my god, where did it go? Wait. Wait a minute. Oh god damn it. <laughs> I just went through the floor. My horse is about to die. Wait, I think my horse is- No! No! I don't have a, a horse revive thingy. No! I killed my horse! Do I really not have- Horse oh my god, I don't have horse No! I always had horse revivers. Arthur! Rachel, I'm so sorry! What do I do? I don't have- Fuck! I can't revive her! It's not letting me kill or revive her! Oh my god, what do I do? I guess I'll study my dying fucking horse. I literally killed Rachel. It's fine. It's literally so okay. I don't know what to do. Look, it's not- I don't- it's not letting me- Okay, I guess I'll just put her out of her misery. I don't fucking know. It's not let- I don't have horse reviver! And I have no honor because my horse is dead! It wouldn't let me- I had to do a manual kill because it wouldn't let me- This is the worst thing! This is the worst- I just ran over my horse! I just walked on my dead horse. Today's the worst day. I fuck- I don't- I feel so bad. I fucking- uh, I feel so shitty! <sighs> Hamish! Are you dying? I swear to God, if Hamish is dead, I'm done with today. I'm Hamish. fucking done with today if Hamish dies. <laughs> I got thrown and a bastard all got me. Are you dying? Uh, take a bill for me, would you? He's a good horse. You're dying but too? He's <laughs> but he's strong. <laughs> Hamish? Good pig. You stupid fucking animal. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Shit. We got him, old man. Why did Hamish have to die? Are you fucking kidding me? Take trophy. I'm first Rachel, now Hamish. <laughs> this is a horrible way to finish the episode. I'm fucking mad. At least I have a horse now. <laughs> Jesus.
So, I need to buy Horse There's Reviver, like, stat. That was a new experience, not having Horse Reviver on me. Would I recommend it? No, I wouldn't. Hey, fella. <laughs> Come on, mule. Let's go. Is there a way I could bury Hamish? I just... I feel horrible. I was so happy to see him. I don't want Buell. I want Hamish back. And I want Arthur back. And I want Rachel, my goddamn fucking horse, back. But I fucking killed her. I'm sorry, Rachel. I made her suffer before she died, too, because... I didn't know what to do because I didn't have Reviver and the game wouldn't let me automatically kill her. Like, it wouldn't let me press any buttons so I had to manually kill her. Let me just adjust this. Oh my god, I feel horrible. Hey, boy. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry, Hamish. Please, I have a new horse. Like, I only had Rachel for like a few episodes, so I don't even know why I'm crying. But it's just the fact that Hamish died too. You know, he had so many years of peace. And then the moment I fucking visit him, he has to die. I'm so mad. Why did he have to die? <laughs> There's been like a, a substantial lack of death in the epilogue. So I'm angry that I got like two deaths in the span of a minute. I'm a little cranky. I'm a little fucking mad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out at his cabin to make myself feel better. Oh, I actually can't go into his cabin. That's interesting. It's locked. I was kind of hoping I could take the things that he and Arthur did together, the trophies, but it's okay. <sighs> I really don't want to end the episode on this note, y'all. I feel bummed. Let me check the comments. Let me see if there's anything else we can do that would be remotely... That would be a remotely better note to end an episode than this. All right, so you guys told me that I can go visit Arthur's grave. That actually I can go visit like pretty much everyone's grave. But that seems like it requires time and a lot of patience. Um, neither of which I really possess right now. <laughs> so I, I would really like to visit Arthur though. So I'm going to go try to find him. Give me um, about 30 minutes. And then, and then we'll, we'll hopefully, we'll hopefully be there. Oh my god. We're basically on a cliff. It's only a matter of time before I kill Buell too. Because I'm just a horse murderer. I'm just a horse killer. I'm gonna really try and take care of Buell though, you guys. Just for Hamish. I'm sorry, I know it's stupid. I'm literally crying over every single, like, character we come into contact with post-Arthur. But it's just emotional though, okay? Don't at me. Uh, I think we need to go up to find Arthur. Oh, wait, Buell is so pretty. Look how beautiful he shines. But I'm worried about going this steep. I'm just gonna walk? No, no, that that takes too long. Oh! Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god, that was quite a slide. Okay, Buell, you stay here, buddy. I will go. And... Oh, never mind. I won't. Jesus, how am I supposed to get up this cliff then? Oh my god. John, stop. Please just let me get up. Stop sliding! I might have made a mistake. Oh my god, that was such a long roll. I just want to get up this fucking mountain, mate! Two thousand years later. Oh my god, I think we're finally doing it. I think we're finally fucking doing it. Is this it? Is this it? We found it. We found him. Well, it was quite a trek up here, but... I'm glad we made it up here. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, I think I'm I'm ready to say goodbye, and it's great visiting him. And I'm glad we were able to visit so many different people in today's episode. It was honestly such a joy, and I feel like it gave me a lot of closure. And for that, I'm really, <laughs> really grateful. No, 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 think about this for a minute. Imagine just playing Red Dead and not playing the epilogue. Like, think about that for a second. 
that 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 would be fucking horrible. That'd be like the worst fucking game in history. That's just such a downer. That's just fucking depressing. But 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 playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and playing the epilogue that's big dick energy right there. <laughs> that That is what is gonna give you peace when you fucking die, right? <laughs> I'm glad we were able to say hi to him and spend some time with him. But yeah, I definitely enjoyed today's episode and I hope you did too. And until the next episode of whatever we're doing, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys. Also like low key, let me know if there are any other places I need to visit. Petting the dogs is Arthur. <laughs> I am. I've tried so hard not to lose it. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot. Oh, look at the happy doggo though. Look how sweet he is. Oh, there we go. Good buddy. Good buddy. Oh yeah, isn't that great? Isn't that great, buddy? Bye. See you later, bud bud. <laughs>